As the morning continues in the aftermath of Sunday morning's terrorist attack on an Orlando nightclub, the attention is turning to those who survived but need surgeries. Good evening and thanks for joining us. Orlando hospitals are in dire need of blood. In fact, so are local blood banks, which have sent as many units of blood as they possibly can. As Valley News Team's Cornelius Hocker shows us, donors are needed to replenish the supply and why it's important to become a regular donor. Going into the summer months was going to be concerning in itself this year, and now we are very, very concerned with the, the um, extra products that we've shipped out to Florida. It's happening all over, not just here in the Valley, as blood banks are sending blood to Orlando. Curtis Godmall has O negative blood, which is the universal donor. He understands how important it is for him and others to be regular donors. I would hope that people would consider giving blood regularly because it's not a great sacrifice of time. It's something that's relatively easy for most people to do. And the need is always there in so many different situations like this. In the hours after the shooting, hundreds of people lined up to donate blood in Orlando. Cody Voiles, who's there on vacation, was among them. He says it seems more like a close community rather than a huge city. It didn't seem big then. It felt very tight-knit and very... Uh, unified. It, I mean, I get emotional almost just talking about it because they... everyone was just flooding there. Everyone. United Blood Services is hoping people locally will feel that same sense of community. Blood isn't something we can manufacture. We can't produce it any other way than for um, kind volunteer donors that are willing to step up and roll up their sleeve and donate. In Fargo, Cornelius Hawker, Valley News Live.